nanohub.org. You can follow along with this presentation using printed slides from the NanoHub. Visit www.nanohub.org and download the PDF file containing the slides for this presentation. Print them out and turn each page when you hear the following sound. Enjoy the show. So I'm torn. I would like to show you what uh, the alloy disorder can do in nanowires, but I also would like to show... I'm just going to go pretty fast on the alloy disorder nanowires. Okay? We have like... It's new, noon now. We have to like 1.15 or so since you guys showed up all late. All right. So let me talk about alloy disorder in nanowires. Just as a reminder, when we have nanoscale structures, what we do is we might start out conceptually with a bulk dispersion, like as shown here on the right, which might look parabolic, and we have in mind uh, <coughs> formulas for particles in a box where we say we quantize this dispersion into discrete k-values. Okay? So that means if we quantize one of the k directions, like kx, when we do a pi over l for the ground state, depending, if we make the structure smaller and smaller and smaller, we move up in the k dispersion, right? So we sample more and more any non-parabolicities or any other unusual things that we normally wouldn't capture with a parabolic dispersion. Okay? That's a fundamental thing you have to keep in mind. Right? The smaller we make geometries, the more we start to explore non-parabolic features in band structure. All right, so let's look here at silicon and how we project silicon down into a nanowire. What is the dispersion of a nanowire? So here's a sort of a pictorial view. So let's assume we want to quantize this silicon dispersion in the vertical z direction here. 0, 0, 1. You see that there is four values that are equivalent in green and two values that are also equivalent in black. So if you project that down into 2D Brion zone and you pick out K values out of these different um, valleys, you see that the black ones are projected into the gamma point of the 2D Brion zone, where I picked some K, and the green ones are in the plane off axis. Now I have a 2D Brion zone with another two K points, or two K variables left. So I've projected my bulk into a quantum well, so to speak. Now I can chop my quantum well in another dimension and make a wire. So let me do that. So I'm going to quantize some K. That means I'm projecting uh, the band structure now along a single k direction, right? I have one k left, the other two are quantized, right? Because I have two dimensions that have quantized my momentum, and the other I'm still moving freely in that wire. So what you end up having in, if you have a 1001 uh, wire, <coughs> that you have four equivalent values at gamma that have been projected down, and two others that are still off gamma. So that is how your momentum is going to look like. So you have a momentum, and here you have four bands that look gamma-like, and you have one band that looks sort of X-like. That's sort of the pictorial way on how to show how a dispersion in a nanowire would look like. So now let's look what would happen in a wire. Here's this dispersion I've just shown. And we know now that, uh, we know that for every band, we would have a transmission of one, right? It gives you one channel in which electrons can move, right? So, so here's the transmission plot of transmission versus energy. It's kind of more instructive to turn this graph around and plot transmission versus energy. And here you can now see that for each little band, you pick up one channel. Okay? So as you move up in energy, you get transmission coefficients where you can transmit through. 
for each band in a perfect nanowire, for each mode, you get one transmission. And they're step-like, right? As soon as a new band turns on, I get more channels. When a band goes away, I get a dip in the transmission. Right? So now the question comes, what happens if I make my structure a little bit disordered? So let's per start with a perfectly ordered gallium arsenide. And let's say we insert aluminum. That would happen at random, right? We pick some sites, and that would be locally disordered and not periodic. 